What's up guys, Austin Newman here, and I am back. It's been a couple of weeks since I last uploaded, reason being, I've had some agency work that's really tied me up for the month of October. I appreciate everyone's patience, and I appreciate all the new subscribers in this community. And the new schedule is going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and that's going to be for tutorials, behind the scenes, and all kinds of other filmmaking goodies. So for the first video coming back, this is going to be the free retro preset pack that we talked about in the last few videos. It's finally out, you can go ahead and grab your free copy in the description below so make sure to go download that and this is going to be a tutorial on how you can use these presets effectively for your own footage so before we dive in if you're not subscribed to this channel hit that subscribe button with post notifications on for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one all right, so I'm inside Adobe Premiere Pro. I've got my footage of this Washington Monument here on my timeline for my trip this year, and we're gonna go ahead and apply some cool retro presets to this footage. So well, let's go over to our effects panel, and right where it says effects, right click here, go down to import presets if you haven't already done so, and simply click the retro preset pack. Now what I want you to do is go to the magnifying glass, type in retro, and you'll see here all of the presets populate under retro preset pack. Now I'm gonna go down the line here just to make this easiest and show you how each of these can be effectively used on your footage. So we'll start with Retro Dream. This is a simple drag and drop onto your footage. It creates a nice neon retro dreamy look to your footage. Make sure to use this with darker footage as well because you're gonna get the best effect with some darker footage. Next up is the RGB split. Now, if you've been following the channel for a little bit, you know that we've covered this numerous times and offered it in different preset packs numerous times, but I do think that this is important because I use it all the time. So I included it in the retro preset pack as well. So so if you want to use this, just go down to your footage here, click it, hold down Alt and drag up to duplicate that footage. And one more time, hold down Alt and drag up. Now we're going to simply take top and drag it to the top, middle to the middle, and the bottom blue to the bottom blue. Now our footage looks normal again, but let's go to the top layer here, effect controls. And now we're going to just change the scale or the position. And we can see we've kind of manipulated this footage in an RGB space. That's as simple as this one is. Next up is the TV box lines. Now this is something you don't wanna just drag onto your footage. If you do, it's gonna darken it considerably because this is actually a Venetian blinds transition that I've manipulated a little bit to look more like a TV screen. But what you wanna do instead is go over here to your project panel, right click in here, new item, and we're just gonna use a black video, 1920 by 1080, 24 frames a second. Those are my settings, so looks good. Let's just drag this over the entirety of the clip that I want to use this effect on and simply drag TV box lines onto that black video and voila, we have exactly the look that we want with these TV box lines. Next up is the VHS stylize. This is something I've used several times in my videos. This is a simple drag and drop onto your footage. It's gonna add this really interesting look to your footage and it also has this nice scanning line down the middle so it'll kind of warp your image a little bit. This one I like to use a good bit with some video. And then I made one that's just a bit more damaged. You can simply drag that onto your footage as well. So this will look a little bit more like VHS that might've been damaged over the years. So that's the retro preset pack. That's as simple as these are to use. I hope you enjoy them. If you do, make sure to leave me a comment below and let me know what you think and what you'd like to see in the next preset pack. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button with post notifications on. And until next time, we'll see you later.